Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? This is going to be a general reading for the month of September 2021. Let's look and see what the energies are in store for you. These are general energies, and we'll see where the reading takes us. Let's see what's going on. All right, bottom of the deck. Ooh, five of swords, a thorny issue of some sort in which the overall energy requires you to release and you're being very intellectual about this. But the good news is, is timing is on your side. Nice energy. I'm going to go ahead and take this because it looks like you're going to rapidly move ahead after releasing someone or somebody. Wow. Oh, my God. This is like the reading. The six of coins. You're looking for equal give and take. You're moving away from things that are thorny and ridiculous. You're moving away from somebody who is a drama king or queen. You're releasing the energy. You want to have fun. You want to enjoy your life. And even though you've cared for this person, they have pretty much really ended the relationship. For others of you, that's going to be part of the story. But what I'm seeing here for you is that many of you are going to get a new job offer coming in. I'm looking at you letting go of an employer who doesn't pay enough, letting go and getting an opportunity that's going to give you really nice benefits. This would be more in line with like what a Fortune 500 company would give you, 401k, if you need a car to drive, they might give you that if you're an executive. Uh, but, but it's all about paid vacation, a good job, something very stable, and with a company that's probably well known to the public. And it looks as though they're looking to purchase the skill set you have in communication with the way your, your intellect operates. It looks like they're looking for your intelligence. You have expertise that they truly want. It looks as though they've also done a little bit of house cleaning at this job. You are moving in quickly. For some of you, you also may be deciding to buy a new car or even travel or take a road trip in, the re in September. We get the energy of Leo energy here. You're really able to stand your ground. And when somebody just really annoys you, it looks like you're having some difficulty in a love relationship right now is what I'm seeing, Taurus. It looks as though somebody loves you, but you know it could be this person that you've released because we see drama, drama, and you don't wanna have it. You're pushing it back, you're defending yourself against it. The Ace of Cups says that you want new love, but you are going to make an offer or somebody's going to make an offer to you. Ooh, look at this energy, the Sun card coming in here. The sun card is all about, you feel great, you feel happy. See, it's like when you have a full cup of cold coffee, but you want hot coffee, you have to pour the old coffee out. And you are cleaning house this month, Taurus. You've got Uranus in Taurus right now, and you're doing things that you probably have never done before. The Ten of Cups, you are really happy. It looks like this new love that's coming in. This new love is someone that you also may have known for a period of time. The Three of Wands is you see them as your wish fulfillment, like they are your choice already. Three of Coins, again, I think you've worked with this person. Justice card is indicative of, you know, we get that energy that you're ready to make a commitment. Seventh House, Libra Energy, the Justice card is all about partnerships that have legal responsibilities with them or have are in written form or contractual form. So what I'm seeing is that you may have, you know, when we get a new job, we have to do legal paperwork. I feel as though you're getting a new job. I feel as though you're releasing an old relationship. I feel as though you're coming into a new relationship. I feel as though you're exhausted. <laughs> That's a lot of activity, Taurus. We have the Magician card. You are manifesting something that you've been working on for a long time. We see that you feel very proud of yourself, very excited about it. This is really an energizing kind of situation for you. The Page of Swords says that you've been studying the situation for a while. You made a very head over heart decision that you thought would be the right thing to do. But look at this, you turn into the Emperor. 
we get this emperor energy for you it's really such an ascension such a promotion such a big step forward into happiness you feel playful and energized and you are keeping this to yourself look at that so that's an extraordinary reading uh, i would say for you taurus it wasn't how I planned on doing the reading, but, you know, spirit just takes me, and when I feel intuitively drawn, I do whatever comes to mind. Let's look and see what the Moonology Oracle deck has for you. The energy of Taurus. So you are going through a really interesting time in your life in which... The Wheel of Fortune is blessing you as you release things that do not work. Because Taurus likes to hold on, right? Look at the blessings that are coming to you when you let go and let... I won't say... Well, it's God is the saying. But when you let go and let spirit, however you define that. Working through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Oh, so descriptive. This is Scorpionic energy. When we let go of something and just release it, that's very much... That's even bigger than the death card because... You know, you're releasing one person permanently and you're choosing to be with somebody else who is not, you know, doesn't have a lot of drama going on with them. Let's look and see what the energy is in the fairy oracle of this five of swords. We're going to look at the two of swords and see who this, something about what's happening here to clarify for you. What is the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords doing here for our beautiful Taurus friends? They are cleaning house. Lady of Sorrows. Okay. So somebody who is filled with drama, who wears all of their sorrows on their, on their, you know, on their being, like a cloak, like a something that's an accoutrement, and somebody who has a big behind, and I don't think that that is literal. I think it's figurative, somebody who has really shown their tail feathers to you, somebody who's been arrogant, and um, somebody who really has been, you know, they're, they're a person who feels sorry for themselves, they cry in their beer, and yet, she doesn't look like she's going hungry. The queen of the day is the person that you are picking or choosing in this energy of the ace of cups. Why do we have the Emperor here? Why do we have the Emperor here? The Prince of Shadows. Okay, so what I'm seeing, Taurus, is I believe that you went through a really rough time in which you felt like you were, you know, in a shadowy energy and it was your inability or, or the situation. You didn't release something earlier, I'm sure, for very good reason because you're very logical. We're going to look and see what the Wisdom of the Oracle is giving you for advice. This is phenomenal. I'm loving it. Taurus. All right. So we have all kinds of new beginnings. Once you let something go, you are on a roll. Happiness. Happiness. The two happiest cards in the deck right next to each other. Treasure Island. You are on the move building wealth again with that magician card. A leg up. Somebody has stepped in and helped you in some way. Obviously, that doesn't take away the shine off of your talents. And happy, happy, look at that happy, happy, ha this is happily ever after. The person that you meet looks like a person that you might marry. And the happiness of the sun card, happiest card in the deck. Now we get happy, happy. It looks like this is a person that you worked with, truly. Okay, so let's see where you are in your journey of love. Ooh, this is a very cool reading, Taurus. Okay, so what do we have here? The choice. Oh my God, look at that. The swan. You go from this ugliness to this beautiful love relationship of the Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. Oh, and you move there very quickly. You know exactly what you're doing. Taurus, Taurus, you know exactly what you're doing. We see distant shores. So you may be moving. We get two watery cards here. So it does look like you may be moving or your person may be from a different destination. It could be a honeymoon destination for some of you. And God's 
God speaks and pulls you out of the darkness into your power again. Okay, I'm going to take two cards from the High Priestess, the Oracle of the High Priestess, and see what that energy is for you. I love these Oracle readings along with the Tarot readings. So fulfilling. Wow. So I'm really curious. Please put in the comments below how or why you decided to release this Queen of Sorrows or Lady of Sorrows at this time. Did you meet this other person and realize that you were in this bad situation or did you leave that before you met this person? Okay, the harvest gathering blessings, there you are. You are really in your power. You are happy like you haven't been in years. And we see death and rebirth, and that is all about what the judgment card is. Taurus, it's a divine reading for you. Have a beautiful September, and let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Without your help, I cannot grow the channel. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Sending you love from Chicago.